I'm Daniel Bass, I'm the Artistic Director of Music for the Many and we've been doing this project called Colour Code and the aim of this project has been to get the whole of our local high school community, so all the young people and all the staff, all singing together in harmony, in four part harmony which is something most people don't do these days uh, but it's a great skill to learn and it's something which just makes you feel really great. We've been working with a singer called John Bowden and he's developed uh, this harmony singing method called Colour Chord. I'm John Bowden, I'm a uh, singer and musician. Um, I've been a professional performer for about 25 years now. So Colour Chord was an idea I had quite a few years ago initially as a way of teaching people how to improvise harmonies. I mean it's quite a difficult thing singing in three-part harmony. So this is a very simplified version of that where you can actually look at a set of lyrics and you know three people singing together or four people singing together can sort of instantly sing in harmony. What we're trying to get is uh, for everybody to experience that sort of magical feeling of uh, what it's like when you sing in harmony with other people, especially in a big group. So just singing this note. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. So if it's black or it's blue, you're on that note that I gave you. If it's red, you go down. Let's try that. Go! Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I think that the students, when I've spoken to them about how they've felt about it, they've really enjoyed it. They spend a lot of time at primary school singing and being part of choral um, pieces, and that's less so when they come to secondary school. So to have them in, in those teenage years when they might do less of it um, has been brilliant for them. Singing in harmony in a large group is quite a rare experience for most people. Uh, it wouldn't have been 100 years ago, and, and from there back into the mist of time, it would have been very normal for people to experience the, you know, that, that sensation of being in a large group of people singing in an uninhibited sort of way, you know, with a bit of harmony thrown in. But I think it's kind of interesting bringing it into a scenario where it might be a completely new thing, the thing of singing together, um, and just seeing how, how the students here have responded to that has been really interesting and, and, and very positive. We've been using uh, a, a real variety of repertoire, so all sorts of songs from sort of old folk songs, hymns, pop songs, some Islamic songs because we want to make it inclusive and diverse and accessible to everyone. Uh, so we've got British Sign Language interpreter who is uh, working with us to sign the, the songs and make, make it more accessible in that way. And uh, we've got a Nasheed artist to represent our Islamic communities. And we're working with Alice Jones, who is a great folk singer who's leading some work on body percussion. That's something she specialises in. We try to give as many entry points as possible to the work that we do so that everyone can access it. I'm Alice Jones and I'm a folk singer and dancer and body percussionist. And I'm here working as a guest tutor for Music for the Mini. They've been sort of asking me questions about what I do and what it involves. But then also I've had a chance to teach them a song from my repertoire and they also got a chance to do some body percussion which is like drumming on your body. My name's Hosnain Hanif, I'm a Nasheed artist, so I'm a Nasheed singer. I think it's really important for young people to, 
to see and to listen to world music, so lots of different cultures, especially in Todmorden where we do have a community of South Asians and also a community of Muslims living here. It's about bringing different people together from different backgrounds, different age and different race, and all because of the love of singing and music, musical instruments, lots of magical things are happening. <laughs> We're a family school, we're a community school and I think it's great for people to get together in a communal voice to be able to hear one voice and sing one song. I think singing for kids is really amazing for their confidence levels. They start off maybe feeling a little bit shy and it can all build up through the course of a lesson so that they're actually not feeling so self-conscious about singing. It's nice to have lots of different people who may not be, feel comfortable singing all by themselves to come and sing as a collective group. I've really enjoyed it personally because it's like a good way to show that other people have passions to like sing and perform in front of other people. I only started the workshops recently but they are actually a very good way to learn how to harmonise. It's, it's everyone working together really. It's, we had like year 8, um, year 11 groups and I think some year 7s. Yeah. and it was just a really fun experience. When you said we were going to do it in front of the whole um, year eight, I was like really nervous, but then as we got started, I got really excited and it was really fun to do it. It's a unique project, getting so many people to stand together, to sing, and this is all happening in a very small little town like Todmorden. I'm just over the moon that we've had the opportunity as a school to be part of this project. I think it's been absolutely brilliant. I've thoroughly enjoyed it personally, and I've really enjoyed watching the students engage with it. It's just been absolutely brilliant. All the children have really enjoyed it. The staff have been incredible. It's just been a great unifying experience for all our students and all our staff. But I think it's very sad if, if it's not available. And, and for a lot of people it isn't available. Unless you join a choir, which is quite a commitment and quite a different thing. It's more about singing for performance, which I think is quite different to singing for the experience of singing with other people. So I just think it's really important to try and keep that opportunity open. One of the great things about this project is that it's, it's reminded us that everyone is a musician and everyone who's taken part in it has discovered their musicality, even people who didn't really think of themselves as musicians before. And it's, it's a great way of making each person and the whole community feel a lot better about themselves. Green, green grass, blue, blue sky, you better nobody on the